naam jioni njema mtazamaji natumai umekuwa na mchana mwema jinsi nilivyomie karibu sana kwenye taarifa uzipendazo za jukwaa la KTN na mambo kila siku ya juma tunaangazia taarifa ambazo zimegonga vichwa vya habari humu nchini je mtazamaji unafahamu kwamba tuna takriban wajane milioni moja nukta nne humu nchini na wengi wao ni wale ambao wanadhalilishwa katika jamii wananyanyaswa katika jamii hasa kutokana na mila na tamaduni ambazo haziwaruhusu kurithi mali ambao iliachwa na mabwana zao wakati ambapo waliaga lakini je serikali imejiza titi vipi katika kuwasaidia wajane humo nchini leo kumekuwa na maadhimisho ya wajane humo nchini na kumeelezwa kuhusu pesa ambazo zinatolewa na serikali ili kuweza kuwafaidi na tuko na mmoja wa wajane humo nchini tuko naye Pauline Muthusi ambaye ameanzisha shirika la wajani anawaleta wajani pamoja na pia kuwafaidi kupitia pesa ambazo zimetolewa na serikali kupitia miradi mbalimbali je mbali. wewe ni mjani au unajua mjani ambaye labda yuko pale na hajui atafaidika vipi kipindi hiki ni chako tutumie swali lako uh, au maelezo yoyote ambayo ungependa tuyaangazie katika kipindi hiki kupitia nambari 2255 kwenye mtandao wa Twitter @zubaidakananu @ktnewske ukitumia hashtag jikwa la KTN hayo yote mgeni wetu ambaye yuko studio ni atakuwa akiangazia baadaye lakini kwanza tupate vidokezo Mwaziri wana waliodaiwa kupanga njama kumwangamiza naibu wa rais wameposa kuandikisha taarifa wakimtaka Ruto aiandikishe kwanza Shule opili ya St Pius Uriri imefungwa kwa muda wa juma moja ili uchunguzi ufanywe kuhusiana na tukio la kuteketezwa kwa bweni moja jana usiku Je, unafahamu changamoto wanazozipitia wajani haswa wanapowalea watoto wao? Na wanafahamu kukimbilia wapi kupata usaidizi? Ndio mada yetu hii leo katika sehemu yetu ya swala nyeti. Karibu mtazamaji tuanze kwa kuangazia taarifa kuu jina langu ni Zubaida Kome. Mawaziri waliodaiwa kupanga njama ya kumwangamiza naibu wa rais William Ruto wamekosa kuandikisha taarifa wakimtaka Ruto aiandikishe kwanza. Mawaziri hao ni Peter Munya wa Biashara na Viwanda, Waziri wa Teknolojia na Mawasiliano Jo Musheru na Waziri wa Afya Sisi Likarioki. Munya amekiri kuwa walikuwa na mkutano kutoka katika hoteli moja hapa jijini lakini amekana madai kuwa walikuwa wanajadili kuhusu namna ya kumwangamiza naibu wa rais. we've gone through those allegations first of all there is no written allegation recorded in the ob uh, that we could respond to even as we wanted we went out of our way we wanted to write those statements but it became apparent that there is no written complaint there is no complaint that to us made any written uh, reports what they have is a letter a potent letter that has been circulating in the social media i'm sure you may also have seen that letter and uh, we told them we couldn't respond to that kind of a letter but they have confirmed to us that the deputy president of the republic of kenya made a call and uh, complained that uh, some cabinet secretaries and uh, some other senior government officers have been meeting at Lamanda and they gave a specific date of 14 May. And in that meeting, there were plans that were being hatched in that meeting at Lamanda to kill him. And uh, that is why the DCI thought those allegations were serious enough to warrant summoning us to this meeting this morning. We have not been able to record any statement because standard procedure is that if somebody makes an allegation, an allegation of that nature, that person is required by law to record a statement. The deputy president has not recorded any statement. Um, we have also asked 
those who received the call to reduce uh, what they were told on phone in writing so that we can be able to respond. They were not able to reduce those to that uh, complaint into writing. We still wanted to go out of our way, at least if they can re reduce what they were told verbally into writing, we could have, again, as law-abiding citizens who want to be helpful in uh, carrying out investigations, we could have gone out of our way to record the statements. They were not able to re reduce that uh, complaint, verbal complaint, through a phone into writing. And because of that, therefore, we come to a conclusion and an agreement with them that we can't record any statement at this stage until the complainant makes a substantive complaint in writing against which then we can be able to uh, respond. Kwingine kushule ya upili ya St. Pius Uriri katika kaunti ya Migori imefungwa kwa muda wa juma moja ili uchunguzi ufanyu kuhusiana na kuteketezo kwa bweni moja jana usiku. Wanafunzi wa shule hiyo aliteketeza bweni hilo uh, kwa madaya baada ya kunyimwa fursa ya kutazama mechi kati ya timu ya taifa ya Harambe Stars na timu ya Algeria kwenye dimba la kombe la bara Afrika ambapo timu ya Kenya ilitarazo mabao mawili bila jibu nchini Misri. <tos> Wakurugenzi wa elimu katika kaunti na wenzao watume ya kuajiri walimu nchini TSC wametakiwa kuhakikisha kwamba mitihani ya taifa itakuwa bila dosari yoyote. Alizungumza kwenye kikao na wakuu wa elimu kutoka kaunti zote walio kusanyika jijini Nairobi kwa ajili ya maandalizi ya mtihani wa KCPE na KCSC. Waziri wa elimu Profesa George Magoha alionya kwamba yoyote atakayejihusisha na mipango au matukio yoyote ya kuvuruga na kutia doa mitihani ya kitaifa atakabiliwa na kwa mujibu wa sheria When we hear in the back room they are saying it is only a question of time in by September way later to you bring money by September we shall be able to sell you sell what Because I want to affirm to you here my brothers and sisters those who have children the exam will be seen on the first morning of the exam Hakuna kitu kingine Because soon they will start now manufacturing and selling to the extent that the last one was 90,000 shillings per paper. Despite the fact that we say this exam, the way it has been done, nobody, because we have a large pool. Since I've accepted the job, I will do it to the best of my ability. I'm never arrogant, but I'm forthright, straightforward, and fearless. Now, you yourselves should see who is in interior. No, who is in India? He is called Dr. Fred Okengo Matiangi. And who is in the ICT section? It's called Dr. Muchero. And my most humble self <laughs> is here in education. <laughs> and we work very tightly with Dr. Nancy Njeri Macharia. So now in your head, just think, what do you think is going to happen this year? <laughs> Don't try anything. Because we are even going to be more efficient than before. Because now it's easy to speak one language. Na mtazamaji ikiwa ni siku ya kuadhimisha maadhimisho ya sherehe za wajane uh, duniani tutakuwa tukirudi na sehemu yetu ya swala nyeti tukiangazia hali ya wajane humu nchini mahangaiko ambayo wanayapitia na jinsi ambapo wanaweza kufaidi wana habari yetu Frida Mwaka amezungumza na katibu katika wizara ya jinsia kuhusu mikakati ambayo imewekwa na serikali uwezo kuwafaidi uh, wajane humu nchini na pia tuko na mmoja wa wajane ambaye atatueleza ni vipi ambapo wanawafikia wajane humu nchini na kuwafaidi kupitia miradi mbali mbali kwa hivyo na kusihi usiende mbali